So recently, I have been not creative at all. Um, my last video, the to-do list, that was probably my last burst of creative energy I had. And I feel like I'm running out. So today is going to be that day where I'm trying to go out and get more creative again. So I know exactly what I'm doing. If this city was a kingdom, I'd want you to rule with me. Still worried for your safety after all our time fool the reef. And I know I'm probably freaking out foolishly. I just don't want the next thing that I write to be a eulogy in your honor. And I know you'd hate it too. All the petty little things that I'd associate with you, like stairwells, night veil, and beautiful smiles, like Tycho instruments and 300 miles, like happiness and late afternoons in the shade, like long car trips and trying to move where it rains, like never thinking twice but always using your brain, and like Sherlock Holmes and every tune that you sang, like pie baking, Seattle or Portland, our lack of good fortune, kisses in the morning, mathematical equations, empty night skies, bonfires, poetry, and living life right, and there's beaches, boats, sailing, togetherness, the feeling like you're smiling even brighter when the weather's shit, telling all my friends that I was happy when I got you, and there's coffee shop dates, and Certainly Sinatra Meeting every morning and consorting by your locker How the first time that we kissed you said you're not much of a talker Nearly eight months later, I think you had it backwards I asked you who you were, said you're cute, you were flattered Now our story's gotta fill with happily forever afters And I don't think I could've fallen for you any faster Oh, it's falling, and we are falling, guys Oh no, this is not good I'm not even going to cross my face. This is a beautiful angle, but... So, you might be on the screen, Michael. Why did you drive an hour to come out to Mommy Bay uh, when you could have just gone to a local park or whatever? And I came out here because lately I've been feeling creatively dead. And the last time, or time I had a creative burst of energy was the to-do list video. And even that felt forced to me. I did try to make a couple videos between that video and this video right now, you guys are watching, and they all just fell flat to me. I tried to do a Casey and I sat style video for Halloween. I tried to do a couple other videos, like we went to lights at the zoo, and both of those just fell flat for me. Uh, whether that be in the editing process or the actual filming process, it's been harder and harder for me to pick up the camera and either talk to it like I'm doing right now or go out and just be artsy and like fill my entire day. I don't know if that's because I've been overworked with my actual job or if I'm just like falling off the film train. If I lose my passion towards filmmaking, I don't think I'll ever be able to free myself. Creating is a life that is hard to pursue, but when you do pursue it, it will be so rewarding. And I cannot wait to create more for you guys. My voice is gone. There's somebody walking up. This is awkward. I'm gonna end this clip. I filmed this clip like three times. I don't know if you guys can hear me or see me, but another thing I feel like it might be a problem is I think I might be creative chasing the wrong creative aspect. I feel like I'm trying to be more cinematic or I'm supposed to be more funny or vice versa. Finding your own creative path is hard in this world and I don't want to become a big YouTuber. I just want to become me and I don't know what this clip is so I'm going to shut up and leave. <laughs> literally on my way home after realizing that Miami Bay is way too cold outside. I'm gonna drive past this, I think it's like the Museum of the Great Lakes or whatever. And uh, first of all, let's just imagine like this, like this, that's freaking Michigan right there real quick. This big old like thing, I can't even see the camera. There we go. But like, this is the Museum for the Great Lakes or something like there. It's right over there actually. I'll go in there some other time if you guys want me to. Check out what that's all about. But, and then I look over here, that's literally the most beautiful freaking skyline of uh, downtown Toledo I've ever seen. Like that right there, Seagate building right there, bam. With all the surrounding buildings. That's the most beautiful thing I've seen of, think, skyline, of skyline, skyline I've seen of Toledo in a while.
So apparently I just went down an actual road. I didn't realize this was an actual road until I got here and like right behind me construction because you know Ohio, it's Ohio without construction. But like I am so happy I stopped here. This is probably the be most beautiful skyline I've seen of Toledo so far. Like look at this. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. This is what I needed. I needed this beautiful skyline right here. This nice straight clean road right here. And my skateboard. That's why I needed to feel creative again. I feel creative, I feel the juices. I cannot wait to edit this footage. And I feel like that is a test to what I believe in life is to, as corny and tumbler as it sounds, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And, because Mommy Bay for me was a bust. It is way too cold out there to do anything. And then, I literally, on the way home, I stop at this like just random little spot on the side of the road. I get the most beautiful skyline of Ohio, or not Ohio. Pretty much, yeah, actually. The only skyline I believe that can beat this one I can see right now is the one in Cincinnati that you can see from Newport. I'll put you a picture up right now. But that is a beautiful skyline right there, but those two are probably my two favorite skylines I've ever seen of Toledo or Ohio, I said. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to my car now before I freeze because I'm again cold as heck. Okay, so um I had a big lead up, I don't know what to say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try to get creative again and it actually worked. Because right after I film this clip, I'm gonna throw in a different hoodie, throw on a different jacket, and go out and film another video. Cause you'll boy back on the creative train. So get ready for more videos from me more creative stuff because I'm really really hyped right now like uh, like <laughs> I'm extremely excited for more videos to come up by me um whether that be about my day trying to get creative again um or just dumb things I do like I'm pretty sure I'm, I don't work on Black Friday which is thank god actually I do work Black Friday crap but it's like evening so I might do Black Friday thing if you guys are into that kind of stuff might do something like that. It might not be like a 10 Black Friday hack tips from BuzzFeed. But just might just be like me attempting to Black Friday shop. And by attempting, I mean like just showing you guys the chaos of Black Friday if you've never experienced Black Friday. But if you live in America, you probably experienced Black Friday because I don't think they have Black Friday over in Europe. Do they have Black Friday in Europe? No one really knows. Anyway, so yeah, hope you guys like enjoy the help. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't know what this outro is because I've this I've just woke up like 30 minutes ago and still sleep asleep. See you guys next time when I'm not dumb like this. Yeah.